flies see the world in slow motion and have wildly different vision than us because of their funky compound eyes made up of thousands of lenses. I'll explain the weirdness in their brains that gives them slow-mo vision and makes them so hard to swat, but first, let's talk about the pretty crazy way their eyes work. Each of a fly's compound eyes is made up of over 3,000 little eyes called omatidia. Each of these contains its own lens and a cluster of photoreceptor cells. This means that a fly's vision is a mosaic, with thousands of tiny images being stitched together to form one large image. Each little eye has its own nerve fiber connected to the optic nerve and the fly's brain. Flies don't move their eyes like how we do. They don't really have to because their eyes stick out of their head and can see almost 360 degrees around them at once. However, flies can't focus the images they see, like how we do that by changing the shape of the lens in our eye to either focus on things up close or further away. They're also really nearsighted and can't see clearly more than a few yards away. Flies are colorblind, but they can see a property of light that humans can't. Flies only have two cones or color detecting cells instead of three like us. They can't see red, which in humans is a kind of red-green color blindness called protanopia. Not all insects have bad color vision though. Bees have better color vision than we do. But flies can see the polarization of light or the orientation of light waves around them. We can't differentiate different kinds of polarization. This ability lets flies see details in animals and objects that we can't based on how different polarizations of light reflect off of them. So now we know that flies can see almost 360 degrees around them, but that's not the only thing that makes it so hard to swap these little party poopers. One fourth of the nerve cells in their tiny brains are dedicated to the perception of motion. They process information more than four times faster than us, letting them perceive the world in slow motion by our standards. We see the world at a rate of 60 hertz, which you can think of as 60 images a second. Flies perceive the world at 250 hertz, letting them react way faster than humans. Smaller animals tend to process visual information faster than bigger ones, because those big monsters didn't need to evolve with that kind of speed to survive. Flies, hairs, and antenna also feel the air move as you start trying to swat them, giving them an early warning. However, flies struggle to see objects that aren't moving. So if you move really slowly before swatting, or wait for the fly to get close to you before swatting, you have a much better chance of hitting that little guy. They struggle to see things standing still because the neurons in their brains have a feedback loop that compares the contrast they detect with that of the neurons around them. This feedback loop makes them crazy good at detecting motion, but it largely ignores things not in motion. While it would be pretty cool to see 360 degrees around you and have lightning fast reflexes, I'm personally glad to have my human eyes and not massive fly eyes.